We're from Kentucky originally, and so I was uh, raised in Kentucky, in Ashland, Kentucky, right on the Ohio River. Used to water ski on the Ohio River. Went to high school in Ashland at uh, Fairview High School, played baseball, basketball, and then uh, went on to college and majored in chemical engineering, as a matter of fact, and then went to the University of Kentucky uh, uh, in Lexington and um, did dental school there as well afterwards. I uh, have been practicing since uh, 1976. That's 36 years I've been an orthodontist. Through the years, my been having some degenerative problems with my hips, and uh, and it's gotten to the point now that uh, it's affecting my day. I, I really don't get around as easily as I used to, and I enjoy orthodontics enough that I don't want that to be a distraction for me. About three years ago, I started to really have trouble with my hips. I'd feeling it a little bit, never thought much about it, but then it got to being worse and worse and chronic and chronic and affected my uh, golf game and, uh, and getting around and then it got to the point that it was just uh, suddenly wrong movement, wrong direction, stabbing pains and just about take you to your knees, in fact would. And so it became obvious I needed to do something about it. to consider hip replacement surgery when your activities of daily life are, are, are compromised, when you have pain that prevents you from sleeping, pain that prevents you from doing the types of things that give you pleasure in life. And not just a little pain, but pain that's justified by the radiographic findings. Well, I did my research on who and where and when and all that, and the name that kept popping up was uh, Dr. Bo Mason. He's with CMC at uh, uh, Mount Mercy, and so I went down to see him, and they ordered some uh, x-rays and, and scans and things like that, and what it boils down to is that both hips are affected, and I have degenerative osteoarthritis, uh, uh, and so surgery is going to uh, hopefully give me, and I fully expect that it will, give me the mobility and and the comfort, pain-free living and moving that uh, I've been missing out on the last two years. It's, I'm, I'm getting tired of having to plan the moves with my feet and body so that I don't render myself onto the floor uh, with pain. And, uh, and I fully expect that this is going to eliminate that completely. Good to see you. Hey, you all set and ready? I'm ready, my wife, Frida. Hey, good nice to see you. Yeah, Tom's always been a very active guy, and we like to walk and dance and travel. And there's always the, you know, how far does Tom have to walk, or, you know, is that something that's going to wear him out or create some kind of pain that's going to compromise his experience? So. So, you know, we've all accommodated to his uh, hip situation. The technology associated with um, hip and knee replacement has advanced and continues to advance. Uh, we've made strides with regard to materials that we use, the reliability of the materials, uh, and the techniques with which we, we do the surgery. It's assembling a good team in a good facility with good experience. That's what it takes to, to, to have a successful outcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You've done a miraculous job. And we'll get him, get him up going. And You want somebody that's motivated. A motivated patient is, is always a good patient. Um, we have differences in terms of the, uh, the goals that patients have to try to get back to. For some, it's simply to be able to, to get uh, in and out of uh, their, their room uh, without pain. For others, is to return to, to hiking, to golf, to tennis. Good How you doing? You. Good to see you. Doing great. All good right, to see you very again. good. Welcome back. So, how's it been? It's been excellent. I, I've had no pain with the hip whatsoever. 
before, we really had to organize our life around Tom's hip. And so now, rather than organizing our life around his uh, hip, he is free to resume the kind of normal activities that we've always enjoyed, golf, travel, friends, entertaining. And so it's really given us back the kind of lifestyle that we so enjoy. The best compliment that we ever get after someone has a hip replacement is that they've forgotten that they had a hip replacement. Trying to get people back to doing what they want to do day to day, that's what we were trying to do. My story has a happy ending. I got back to work much sooner than I expected. My mobility's back, I'm pain free, the hip's functional, I couldn't be happier. The most important of all is I'm now able to go golfing with my little buddy and that is a very good thing. Ready? Way to go, Tucker. Way to go. Let's go down there and put him in now. <laughs>